I don't personally believe that society has done the work into making it acceptable and normal for men to not have to cry alone. And it broke my heart to hear every single man that I love have to say that the last time I've cried alone, I've cried was alone. But as much as I make fun of Tyrese and a key, this message is not in part to Tyrese, but I do think it should be talked about. I think it's important. I want to give the sick old award to each and every individual who ever made a black man feel like it wasn't okay for him to cry. Mm -hmm. That's who I would like to give the sick old award to. Because I truly believe in my heart, and I know as a man you are not supposed to get on a platform today and advocate for men and men's feelings. I know you're not. But have we not been taught since the beginning of time that it's not okay to cry? Yep. You never saw your father cry. Your father never saw his father cry. So you were raised that you can't cry. And if you do cry, you never let anyone see you cry. One of the more popular books I remember reading growing up was Men Cry in the Dark. Mm. Has anyone ever thought about this? Mm. Tyrese did make a point to say when someone has a miscarriage, do you ever check on the father? Mm. You don't? Now, I think, I think it's a beautiful thing that we have gotten to a point where we realize that black women are the least protected group of people on the earth. The beauty in that is we're starting to change it, or at least we should be, mm -hmm. making more effort to protect the black women. While that's happening, what do y'all think will become of the black men? That's going to change too. When? Let's be honest about it. I mean, I don't know. I do see, I don't know if y'all do, be honest with me. I see clips of podcasts that are all men and they speak to things that will make society better for women. Mm -hmm. Do y'all see that on y'all timelines? Mm -hmm. Do you ever see clips of all women speaking to things that will be, that will help make society better for men? Mm. I've seen this, this I'm not saying it doesn't happen I'm okay. just asking if you've seen it's it It's rare That's all I'm asking mm -hmm. It's rare There's only Do two people Do you believe that men right Feel comfortable speaking to What they go through In public spaces no. no As a man The last time you cried mm -hmm. Was there someone there To embrace you Or did you have to cry alone Alone Same I have asked My male friends This same question Married or not married the majority of them in whatever situation they're in answered the question the same. Mm -hmm. The majority of them, the last time they cried, whenever it was, they had to do it alone. And I'm not saying that's because no one is there for you. I'm not saying that's because you can't find anyone to cry with. What I'm saying is all of us are programmed to believe that that's the way that it's supposed to go, including the man. Mm -hmm. You were taught that you can't call. You can't call your, your homeboy and be like, yo, fam, I'm, I got to cry it out. I'm struggling. I need you to come over and really, you know what I mean? We were taught you can't do that. That's corny. That's soft. That's a lot of things. That's anything other than admirable. Mm -hmm. We were taught that. There were a lot of relationships I know where if you cry in front of your woman, she won't look at you the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She'll see you as weak. And that's where I think it goes into. I think that men were taught a certain way to act and women were taught a certain way to receive a man. And so... If women were also taught the same way that a man should be a man and he can't have these feelings, that same woman is not going to receive it well when you do. Mm. That's when you get comments of, damn, these men out here now are more sassy, mm. more this, more that. But you don't realize that at the end, everybody has emotions the same way. And, I'm, and, and I believe that. And I'm not coming in here trying to pretend like I would be the guy that's going to cry on my woman's shoulders every week. I'm not. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that every man certainly black men, has moments mm -hmm. where you just need to get that shit off somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would really like for us to get to a place in society where men don't have to do that alone anymore. Mm -hmm. And we're all programmed to believe that we do. And like Katie, you just said, like I mentioned earlier, women are programmed to believe that that's not a man that's coming home and needs to have a second. Most of us, even if your woman was to try to, come here, what's wrong? You go in the other room. Nothing, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm good. You don't want to even let her see you like that, mm -hmm. right? 
And I just thought about that. That crying alone your whole life is not what, that's not it. That can't be it. I don't know how we fix it. I don't know how we get the message out to change it. But I don't personally believe that society has done the work into making it acceptable and normal for men to not have to cry alone. And it broke my heart to hear every single man that I love have to say that the last time I've cried alone, I've cried was alone. And the la- and ninety percent of the times I've cried in my life, it was alone. Mm-hmm. You learn that from a little boy. Yeah, nobody cares about a guy's feelings. That's just- been that way my whole life. It's true. No, nobody cares. And, and then- we accept that. Women but- don't. I don't think they. I mean, a majority. Probably majority don't care. of women probably don't. Um, unfortunately, mm-hmm. because of like what we talked about is that that's how they're programmed. But now we have to change the programming mm-hmm. and realize that, yes, ladies, just like how y- we may have moments where we feel some type of way, we're upset, something's gone, and we want our man to be there to hold us and take care of us, right? It's It would be the same way as guys. Like, why wouldn't a man want that when he comes home to his woman? Why like, wouldn't anyone want that when they come home to someone they love, their partner, to be able to unleash those emotions? And understand, I'm going to still go out here and be a warrior. Yeah. Still handle business. When I, I, might, I might have to come in here and just, I need you to hold me. You don't even got to talk to me. Just let me cry this out on your shoulder real quick. Mm. And then I'm going to wipe these and go right back out here and be a warrior. Nobody else going to know. Mm-hmm. But we shouldn't have to cry alone. Yeah. I think we should get to the point where a man does not have to feel like he has to cry alone mm-hmm. because he'll be looked at as weak if he does not. And I think your homeboys, if that's your mans, I think you should let your mans know 1,000% if you ever need that. It ain't even got to be about crying. Just if you ever need your man to be in your space for a minute so that you can don't feel like you got to go through something alone. We got to change that whole narrative. Mm-hmm. Right? Because women embrace that. I feel like, well, girl, you what you going through? I'm, I'm coming through. Mm-hmm. What's up? Pull up. Whereas with men, it's like, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm straight. It's nothing. You'll never know. And unfortunately, it's situations where you won't know how much your man was hurting until it's at a point where there's nothing you can do about it. It's too late. It's too late. Mm -hmm. You know what it's like being a man? Okay. Is he going rogue? That's a fact. That's what it feels like. Okay. So Key is showing a picture of a family who is walking together. There's a woman who is leading the way, holding on to a baby. There's a man slightly behind her who is holding on to her lower back, walking with her. And he's holding on to his up their other son with his left hand. And in the meantime, that man has a million arrows in his back. And the rest of the family is moving as if nothing is happening and they don't even know. And I would say, yeah, for a lot of us, that's a fact. Mm. And your man will never, most times, let you know that because in our minds, that's how we protect you. That's how we protect our family, by you never knowing that there's a problem. But again, that can also lead to a man making bad decisions. Mm -hmm. That can lead to a man allowing his emotions to get the best of him at a time when he shouldn't. Mm -hmm. That can lead to a man losing his life. And I feel like if we do the work, we can change that narrative and we can change the lives of a lot of men. I'm in the moment. Stay in the moment. Yeah. 